Hi all, today we visit Glacier National Park in Northwest Montana. It is considered one of America's most beautiful parks. We'll take a ride on the Going to the Sun Road, which has been designated a National Historic Landmark. We'll also visit the heart of the park, the dramatic Many Glacier area. There are various ways to travel the Road to the Sun. You can take a tour in one of the park's iconic Red Jammers. A free shuttle service is offered during the summer. Check the park schedule for more information. Or you can drive it yourself. It's 50 miles each way. Many photo opportunities will present themselves along the way. The drive will take between two and four hours each way. You must be prepared for the possibility of a dramatic change in mountain weather, which I will show later in the video. So let's go for a ride. Beginning in West Glacier, our first major point of interest is beautiful Lake McDonald. Hiking trails, as well as beautiful streams and rivers, can be found in this area as well. As you make your ascent, you'll pass through tunnels cut directly through the mountains with views of the valley below. It's a winding road, narrow in places, so you have to go slow. You'll have beautiful views the entire route. There are lots of people that bike this too. This is the Weeping Wall. There is access to various hiking trails all along the route. There's a good chance you'll start seeing mountain goats up by Logan's Pass. The parking lot fills up fast, so be sure to get there early. Walking? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's walking towards them. He just yeah. noticed them. At this point, I would like to show you a dramatic change in weather that occurred yesterday when a cold front moved through the region. It got very cold. Clouds and fog covered the entire area. I mean, you can't see anything. I know. Oh, this is not good. Mm -hmm. No views. Yep. We ultimately drove out of it, so just be prepared. We're back in the sun. We're east of Logan Pass, heading to St. Mary's. Lots of tourists. We head down the switchback, then back up, experiencing some nice alpine views as we head to St. Mary Lake. At 9.9 .9 miles in length, and at an elevation higher than that of Lake McDonald, the views of St. Mary Lake can be quite dramatic. We've reached the east entrance of the park at St. Mary. There goes a couple of bikers. As you can see, the area is quite mountainous. We now turn our attention to the wild and beautiful Many Glacier section of the park. This is a very beautiful area. Whoa! We have a bear jam! He's definitely coming this way. Yeah. The bear activity was very heavy the two days we were at Mini Glacier. 200 meters down the road, another group was watching a grizzly above the tree line. We continue on to our destination, the Mini Glacier Hotel where boat tours and guided hikes are offered by the Glacier Park Boat Company. We missed the range of guided hike to the Grinnell Glacier, so we did the guided Grinnell Lake Walk instead. Surrounded by impressive mountain peaks, we crossed two beautiful lakes to get to the trailhead. It's a very pretty hike. And yes, we ran into bears. This time it was a mother bear and two cubs. The hike was held for about 15 minutes so that they could pass. We arrive at beautiful Grinnell Lake. It's a short hike, but it's fun. Well, 
Here comes our boat. My final comment? What an extraordinarily beautiful place Glacier is. Thank you for viewing.